In today's video, we're going to talk about what is supplemental feed in Google Merchant Center, what's the use of it, why do you even need it, and how to set up one. So watch this video step by step until the end and you should learn everything about supplemental feed. So supplemental feed, as, it, as the name suggests, it's the feed that supplements your primary feed, which is, for example, in most Shopify stores, the primary feed is going to be content API if the feed was generated through the default shopping app, right? This is the feed that brings your Shopify store products into the merchant center. Now, there might be a case where you want to change or add some attributes to the feed and you don't want to mess up the original content API feed. And for that purpose, we use supplemental feeds. So supplemental feed has a separate area here in merchant center and this is your primary feed area. So how do you go about setting up supplemental feed? And I'll show you an example of how it looks and what it can be, what can, it can do for you, right? So how do you navigate? You go to Google Merchant Center or Merchant Center Next and hop over to products and then go to feeds. Once you go to feeds, you will come here at primary feeds and supplemental feeds uh, area. Now I have two supplemental feeds here. Uh, over and above the primary feed which is content api and the role of these two supplemental feeds is one feed i will show you if i open this feed the first one supplemental feed it has got shipping length shipping width shipping height and custom labels added for some of the products okay so this store has got how many products 66000 products and we wanted to add custom labels and shipping length, width and height. Therefore, we created a supplemental feed and we added those additional attributes or changed those additional attributes through these columns. This is one example. Remember, if you add a supplemental feed, it is going to supplement the data and replace the data on existing attribute, existing columns. If you add a new feed, it's going to create a duplicate item. That's there for the supplemental feed. I will show you one more example of a supplemental feed we have here and show you what purpose it serves. So it does, we created the supplemental feed only to replace the titles. So what we did is we did rewrite of the titles because we wanted these titles to be keyword rich, you know, uh, and replace the existing ones with a new title. And therefore we took all the IDs and we created the new title and just two columns, just two uh, attributes were uploaded as a supplemental feed to Merchant Center. This replaces the original title in Content API. All right, I have a third example uh, where I'm making a supplemental feed and I'll add it step by step so that you can watch and learn. So what I want to do is I have a new use case and this is kind of an advanced use case, right? So from the Merchant Center, I've identified there are some products where which are below price index and we want to capitalize on those products, which means that the, some of the products that we have uh, for this client, they are below the price index means if the price is X on an average against um, amongst competitors, our prices for these products are lower and therefore we want to run them in a separate campaign. And therefore we are creating a supplemental feed for this where we are going to add this extra label under custom level four. So Google ads, uh, sorry, Merchant Center gives you those five custom level options, custom level zero, one, two, three, and four. So we are using custom level four to add this extra below price index attribute so that we can identify these products while creating a shopping campaign. All right, so this is our supplemental feed. We have only two columns, ID and custom level four. And we are going to use this feed as supplemental feed in Merchant Center. So how do we do that? We go to uh, Google Merchant Center, add supplemental feed here, this one, add supplemental feed, and I'll walk you step by step. So select the Google Sheet, and this feed is for US, so I'm gonna name it US, and this is a supplemental feed, uh, below price index, below price index. This is my feed name, continue and I will select an existing Google uh, spreadsheet. So I will click the second option. And from the My Drive, it, this is my second sheet. This is the most recent sheet that I've created. 
no not this is no this is the one right below price index this is the one so insert and then create an upload schedule so daily i want this to be changed daily although it's not required because it's a google sheet and i will probably not make changes too often but still i'll keep it to daily continue uh supplemental product attributes from this supplemental feed to existing primary feed product data is matched via id attribute by default okay so content api it will match with content api and then go create the feed so create the feed is going to ask you for uh, verification google is sensitive about this oh i got through <laughs> right so now we have the supplemental feed added here okay and it's going to take a while to process let's check if it's already processed so it see its data not fetched yet so we're going to fetch the data all right you can go and like the video <laughs> by the time this is being fetched uh data fetch it to show your products on google fill out your google sheets and fetch it yes fetch it come on google so while we are doing this why don't you go and like the video add a comment give me a shout out give me a thank you <laughs> okay <laughs> just kidding jk okay the file is being processed you still have time to go and like the video you can press the bell icon too and um you know you know what to do right tell others that you found this video helpful uh give me a big shout out in the comments okay we are back <laughs> all right so it says that 1964 items were uh matched right and properties so fetched happened and i think we're done here so let's go to settings right everything looks good processing looks good now the next step is to make sure whether or not these custom level 4 data is showing up in the campaigns and how do we do that first of all we can verify this here in the app uh, you know google merchant center itself so what we are going to do is we are going to pick up one of the ids for example this is the id and we will search and see if whether the custom level 4 has been added okay so go to all products and then uh no 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 shit shit happens <laughs> uh okay continue <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> i'm not perfect all right item id and i'm going to search this item and find out if the supplemental feed that i added has got the attribute pulled in here so good now you see this title this is the id we added and as you can see custom level 4 has below price uh, attribute added so what this means is now i can go into building campaigns and filter out the products by custom level 4 and select all the products that have below price as custom level 4 and those will be 1964 items and they will run into a campaign because like i said we wanted to run products which are below price index because we have a price advantage Okay this is some ninja level stuff great google ads strategy that you would not find elsewhere okay so one like <laughs> subscribe to the channel add a comment it's required you know you know you show some love back to me okay so standard shopping i want to add a i've already created a ad group here and in this ad group what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, select the products so i'm going to select by custom level 4 and uh no it's not showing up yet what's going on google why are you not showing my products here so custom level 0 uh, has best seller custom level 1 has yeah custom level 2 has all these labels where is custom level 4 google so when i have custom level 4 it should show up like this right so under custom level 4 ha huh, it is not here yet so i'm going to cancel reload my google ads interface 
just in case <laughs> although it should have been automatically pulled in but i'm going to reload to be on the safer side we are still in that campaign and uh, below price index ad group and i'm going to add custom level 4 now and see if it has pulled in oh no it has not so i don't know uh, why it's not working guys uh, let me go back to merchant center and see why it's not see custom level 2 is showing up here custom level 4 is showing up here below price maybe we need to give it some time <laughs> what do you think maybe um, but you know what to do right so you will see the custom level 4 here uh, which is going to be below price and then all you have to do is select those products and set up into this ad group still not there but I'm going to stop the video it's already 10 min 11 minutes you get the gist you get the drift cool like this video subscribe <laughs> one more time I'm reminding you and if you are a business, you need professional help with Google Ads, you know where to go, right? Go to guidedppc.com and request a free audit, right? Request a free audit. If you're spending anything over $5,000 in Google Ads, we have enough to look at and we can identify some quick wins for you and show you what we can do better. And that could be a great starting point for us to work together. But if you are a specialist if you are a specialist or an agency and you still want to use our help my help in particular in leveling up on google ads then i would encourage you to go to this one-on-one -on -one consultation and book a one-hour call with me right in this one-hour strategy call you can ask ask all the questions you have and i'll be happy to answer them for you also i can take a look at your google ads account i can provide you quick wins Usually it takes me like 30 minutes at max to review a Google Ads account and give you suggestions. So 30 minutes spare for the audit. You can share your screen and I can look at the campaigns and give you some quick wins. And 30 minutes we can spare for discussion like strategy, how to plan things out. Usually one hour is a very good time frame for you to get the best of my inputs on a particular Google Ads account. So use this, respect my time, like I respect yours. Uh, I respect your time, therefore I'm adding value here. Respect my time and use this. Like if you need it for one hour, five hours, 10 hours, you can book me for one, five or 10 hours. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's about it. Thank you so much. See you on the next video.